Hey there, welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to talk about the difference between long tanks and tall tanks. Let's get into it. So here's my 120 gallon fish tank. This is considered a tall tank. And when I first got in the hobby, everyone seemed to be always about longer tanks. The longer the better, the longer the better, right? More swimming space, more swimming space. And that makes total sense. I'm totally with it. I think that a certain amount of length is very beneficial. And of course, it depends on the type of fish you're keeping. If you're keeping a bed of fish, for example, you know, a 20 gallon long tank is plenty long. Um, you know, a two foot tank is plenty long. A three foot tank is like enormous for a betta. And that's because, you know, they're kind of helicopter swimmers. They don't swim around in open water. They're kind of, um, you know, almost like a puffer or something of that nature. These cichlids, uh, many of them are open water swimming. This tank's five feet, so it's adequate. A uh, six foot tank would be better. Eight foot tank would be better. A whole lake would be better. But, you know, in terms of the hobby, this tank is plenty big. Um, now, the reason why I think that tall tanks, because again, I could have gone for 125 gallon, which is a six foot tank. The 120 is five feet by uh, 18 by two feet. The um, 125 is six, six, uh, six feet by 18 by 18, so it's not as tall. And uh, it is a foot wider, longer rather. And, uh, the reason why I, and again, when I first started out, I thought the, the longer the tank, the better. But over time, what I've realized that, um, which is kind of obvious, but still people don't do this. You know, it's like what, and it, there's some oddballs out there, people that breed a lot or, you know, but, you know, my point is what's the main purpose of our fish tanks? It's to look at them, right? And you'll notice that um, some, some, there's some tanks that are considered show tanks are always very tall. So uh, again, when, um, but what I, what I learned over time is that this tall tank is a lot more enjoyable to look at. And so then I started to fall in love with tall tanks. So I have a 65 gallon that's tall. So that's three feet by 18 by two feet, uh, a 29 tall. And I'm just starting to really believe and experience in my own hobby that a taller tank is much more enjoyable to look at and again at the end of the day what am I doing all this for is to enjoy it so yes a long tank is important depending on the fish but I think the best of all worlds like this 120 to me is a really cool size um, any other taller tanks that are larger than this um, you know 180 or 240 and of course there's all kinds of custom tanks but in terms of I'm now, you know, going forward, if I'm going to pick between a tank that's a foot longer or even just six inches taller, I'm like this again, I'm going to go for the taller tank. This tank is right by my dinner table. It's stunning in terms of uh, just being like this wide, you know, high def TV screen basically into nature. And, um, you know, it would be a lot skinnier and I think less impressive if it was the, the traditional six foot 125. So again, uh, you know, when you start to really do the research and you see that show tanks are taller and the reason are is because they're showing off the fish. It's like, well, what, 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 why aren't all tanks tall? Like, why, we're, that's all we're doing is showing off the fish. So uh, in my opinion, uh, taller tanks are better, you know, given your stock, of course. You know, if you have big schoolers like tinfoil barbs, of course, you're going to want a nice long tank. Um, but again, best of both worlds, have a long tank and a tall tank. So uh, thanks for watching and I'll see you next video. Please like and subscribe. It helps with the YouTube algorithm and grow the channel. Appreciate it. Take care.